Real quick, to keep this channel going, check out my book in the description below, NV Tiny House Heaters also with a discount code down below. And coming up, build a tiny house in the desert with us as part of a hands-on workshop near Joshua Tree, California, relaxshacks.com for the details. <laughs>
is I'm trying to figure out some of the trash routes in my town and the neighboring town just by cruising around because you never know what you're going to find while also doing some errands. So I'm not really solely driving just to find this stuff and wasting gas. But I'm also exploring and learning the neighborhoods, which is kind of fun, if I'm to be honest. Unfortunately, most of these neighborhoods I'm hitting are spent. Trash pickups come through here already. I mean, sometimes you'll still find some bigger stuff that trash wasn't willing to pick up, but it means just that. If they're not gonna pick it up with multiple guys on crew, I'm probably not gonna be lifting it and fitting it in my Subaru right now. And this is one of those times I really miss having a van, which I had until a woman of ill repute, or not ill repute, but a exotic dancer at a certain club, I guess was leaving that club and a couple blocks away rear-ended me. Uh, I know this because she told me she worked at a certain club, smashed in my van and totaled it while I was waiting at a light. So goodbye van, it was totaled and I got a check from insurance and I was able to get this Subaru with it, which is good in some ways and bad. Can't win them all though. I'm kind of looking for a fake Christmas tree after buying one for 70 bucks, a real one this year, so I might grab that and look at that. Nope, that thing was busted up. One of those ones that has the lights already on it, and it was just like in pieces. So, whatever. I mean, most of those are junk anyway. It would have been nice to find one. Because I am sick of paying for live trees, because they've really gone up in price. Oh, there's a kitchen sink. There's a real tree. It's after Christmas, so we're seeing a lot of live trees for trash service uh, put out. It's weird, like parts of the street, I think people put the trash out late. Parts of the street still have the trash, others are emptied, so it must be, peop uh, must be uh, people that just missed this morning's pickup. Which happens, believe me, I know. Some days it's weird, trash will come like 7 a.m., other days they don't show till like 2 p.m. in my own neighborhood. There's really no rhyme or reason. I guess it just depends on how much stuff they have to pick up. Looks like an Ikea coffee table over here. Not worth much, but probably 25 bucks or so. The chairs are right, but those are a dime a dozen, so I will grab that. This guy right here. He's really picking through stuff. The car is loaded. More power to him. I'm pretty sure that's the guy who goes through my neighborhood. Uh, he picks through trash looking for cans to redeem them for five cents. I've long thought that they should raise the redemption value so people would, you know, homeless people would have something they could make money on. People would clean up the woods, not be so quick to throw stuff away. A couple other reasons. Uh, but what I do actually, if that's the guy or whoever this guy is, is I actually bag and separate some of the cans and, and leave them out so that uh, he doesn't have to pick through my stuff. So he can just grab them instead of putting in all that work for like five cents a pop. Doesn't seem all that worth it. I used to return cans, you know, as a homeowner, I have it in ages. I just put them out in recycling now. Not worth five cents in the trip. You're probably spending more money on gas. All right, clearly another new, fresh, colder day here. And we're off to check out to see what the streets shall provide. Question mark. My chariot awaits. Going to take a little shortcut through here. I don't think the residents will uh, mind so much. I've actually always been a fan of graveyards. They're kind of peaceful. And in the snow, this one's actually rather beautiful. This is just a couple miles from my house. What's sad is there's a series of, like, from the early 1900s, a lot of gravestones over in this hill that are, like, for children. One family all in a row like within, you know, months to a year of each other. Like, talk about tragic. And believe it or not, for dinkies, dinks, AKA fishing, no one ever thinks to fish in a graveyard, but I go fishing here occasionally or have this neat little pond right here. One good thing about, you know, uh, picking, looking for stuff in the snow is not as many people are bound to be out because they just don't want to deal. You know, there's the risk of slipping. Stuff gets covered. Some stuff gets wrecked, uh, wrecked and ruined. But there's still some good stuff to be had 
for instance, a couple years back, I found a mid-century modern chair buried in the snow in a snowbank, and I got like 300 bucks for it, which was, I'm looking at some stuff right now on the side of the road, nothing good. But I got a couple hundred bucks for it, so case in point, right there. Cha-ching. At least it's beautiful out. Sorry about the water spots in the window. Let's see if I can get rid of those. Kind of helped. Yeah, just lots of cardboard today. Cardboard, just regular household crud. It's interesting, too, because driving around seeing stuff, you start to realize how many people wastefully use paper plates because you'll see trash cans loaded with them and clear trash bags. What people, in this case, got for Christmas. So I almost would be careful with that. Like, oh, this Johnny got seven PS4s. Clearly, this family has money. Not that I'm going to rob your house, but some people might scout houses that way, so I hear. Uh, you, you can kind of learn a lot about people. And like I said, it must be mattress week here in this in, in this town because uh, there's mattresses out everywhere, which are a pain to dispose of otherwise. So far, real slow, not finding anything. It stinks. Today was kind of a bust, so now at the thrift shop looking for whatever, and I might pick up this shirt because it's well, kind of cool. For no other reason than that. Gonna grab this. Unfortunately, the prices at St. Vincent de Paul usually are crap, and a lot of stuff they have is crap. But you never know, as in this case here. I definitely want this here too. I might even put that in my house, that's so cool. Now this one really speaks to me, just kidding. This one's interesting, if anything, just for the frame of 30 bucks is a rip. And this is just kind of creepy. It's almost like an artistic statement. I don't know, broken mirror glass, Jesus. This is from Model Building 2, and I'm gonna take a blind chance on it for the heck of it. If anything, an interesting display piece. All right, I'm back at the homestead, and while trash picking today was kind of a bust, I was hoping for some good things. Uh, it was just all cardboard garbage. We're still post-Christmas, so just worthless stuff. Uh, thrift shop-wise at St. Vincent de Paul, uh -huh. I think I did pretty good. You saw some of the items I was looking at. I'm going to bring them inside and show you more in detail, and I think I can get some good money for some of the stuff. And one of the items, I don't think I'm going to sell at all. I'm just in love with it. I'm pretty psyched, in fact, because I'm a fan of weird, old gaudy in some cases paintings so i'm pretty excited all right back at home so let me show you this stuff a little bit closer this i love and to really zoom in here i'm hoping you guys can help me what is that signature i might do a separate video on this for my channel too for selfish reasons to find uh you know just to get some assistance to figure out what this says i've tried so many amalgamations and variations of this name looks like it's an s someone said sanderson it's not that Santosa, Sambrosa, San... I don't know. There's a shot right there. But it's a nice painting. If you look at it from an angle, especially near the ear, a couple of the places, you can see that it's actually real layered paint, so it doesn't look like it's a print. I mean, I could be wrong, but I absolutely love this. Uh, I'm sure it would fetch some money. I bought it for four bucks. But I might hang it in my house with my other weird paintings, which I'll show you in a second, maybe. Grab this too, mainly because it has the embossed D, Diedrichson. But I thought it might be something neat that I could put baseball cards in. I'm guessing it was like a, maybe for silverware. I like these old boxes that are padded because when they close, they don't smash and clamp shut with a jarring sound. They have that sound. Uh, I might just store paperwork or something in there. Two bucks. Two bucks wasn't like a steal or anything at a flea market. It's probably appropriately, appropriately priced. So grab that. Uh, a close-up of the thing we saw before. 
three dollars probably a little bit on the, on the expensive side too but i gotta imagine these are worth something just for people who actually use them when they're painting tiny things building models repairing watches or whatever and i figure and this is one of my rules of thumb if it doesn't sell it's something interesting enough where i could just display it around the house you know standing up where i have something in the pinchers the alligator grips here um, something of interest behind the magnifying glass so it'd be a display piece and the piece de la resistance the thing i think i'll make the most amount of money on is the guitar uh, i think i mentioned before what was i calling it uh i was misnaming the brand it's a stag which is like a low level guitar but still pretty cool looking and again if i can't sell it maybe i'll learn to play it or hang it at a wall this sucker right here it's got all its strings in decent condition I haven't even cleaned it yet and it's pretty darn clean always check the necks the neck is nice and straight and uh, you know all the knobs are present this that and the other thing uh, the other thing missing is the badge the emblem right here which doesn't affect the playing of course it's more aesthetics and uh, yeah stag ran right there just kind of a low-level guitar from what I understand I don't know much about guitars I'm a drummer and I front a band inverter if you want to check that out um, University, what does it say? Something Univ, Universe, the Stag Universe of Music. Just looks generic, but it's a cool looking, almost like a Fender rip guitar. So that will be the thing I probably make the most amount of money on. So all in all, a good haul. When all else fails, you know, with the roadside stuff, I always hit some of the thrift shops, and they're kind of fun. That's hit or miss too, because. Uh, that St. Uh, whatever St. Vincent's I go to frequently. The prices, as I mentioned before, aren't that good, and their selection stinks, I feel, unless it's for clothes, but I'm never shopping for clothes. But, uh, you know, you probably have your own preferences. Anyway, thank you guys for joining me. Um, as this video has progressed, maybe if I'm posting this like immediately after finding this stuff, but if any of it sells really quickly before I post the video, I might even uh, traditionally, you know, or coming up with these other videos I do, put sold and what I sold it for because I really when I watch shows like this I like knowing what the actual items sold for did I waste my time and money or did I make a bundle so I try to add that in if not on this video in the future videos uh, if you dig these hit the like button thank you guys as always I appreciate your viewership check out all the different links in the description below for some cool stuff and we will see you or I will see you later